Morning guys, Mo Morales. Well, actually it may not be morning for you, so hey, how you guys doing? I'm back out here in uh, Garrett Mountain. And I'm just looking to keep using my big girl lens here, my Sigma 100-400. It's... So Blue Jay. Just looking for an angle. Helps to have the camera on. And just like that, it's gone. So I could hear a woodpecker. I could hear blue jays, morning doves. And I didn't expect that much action this late in the day because it's almost 10.30 Eastern time here, which, you know, everyone's gotten their worms and stuff. But obviously there's a few guys out here making some noise. I was hoping to get some aquatic bird life, you know, some croutremonts, and I call that, but I can never remember their name. And geese or something on the water. Ooh, there's something over there. What's that? Oh, it's a big girl. What is that? I'll be right back. I got to figure out what this is. So off the top of my head, I'm going to say that that's a blue heron. Um, I'll confirm it later. And I also saw a one-legged duck, which he has two legs or two feet, but he's only using his right leg to swim. So he's kind of going in a semi-circle, but he's figuring himself out. So good for him. But that was a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting anything at all today. So the fact that I got that is a plus. You know what, it's, it's always better to go out and look for something than sit home and miss everything. A great blue heron. All right, I'm gonna go walk around, see if I can find some squirrels or chipmunks, which is really what I came out here for. Not too many hawks out today, so I'm assuming I might find some over here in this little bushel area. All right, let's enjoy our adventures in nature. So I'm running into the problem where it's rained so much in New Jersey lately that it's marshy wetlands here. Listen. Not sure if my microphone's picking that up, but every step I take is a sloshy wet step. And anytime I get close enough to shoot a squirrel or something, my slosh is spooking them and they're running away. But that's okay. I think, I think the highlight of the day here is that I got myself that heron. It's still over there. Wonder what it's doing. Was trying to eat, Bo. <laughs> Obviously. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys guys believe in in just getting out there and shooting something, whether it's you know your street photography or, in my case, nature. Um, today. And again, I'm just trying to get more familiar with this lens. The deeper we get into spring, the more I'm going to need it here. Um, when the migrants start flying by, uh, because this area of New Jersey is uh, what's called a, a trap of some sort. Get out of the sun for you. It's called a trap of some sort where, so birds flying south, well, in this case, north from Florida and, and down in South America, back to Canada, they fly over uh, areas like, like Garrett Mountain, which is a huge greenery in the middle of a concrete jungle. So they tend to stop here and rest overnight, if not longer, eat for a while and chill out, you know, smoke a little doobies with their fellow birds. And then, you know, they're hungry after that. So they gotta eat. And what better place than in a spring forest? 
Don't mind me, I'm just babbling. Sometimes it's just really nice to get out and enjoy a walk. Like I always say, especially, you know, for people like myself and my older watchers, it's just always nice to keep your legs moving. Especially, you know, if you have a disease like myself, have multiple sclerosis, um, my mobility is impacted over time as a, not sure if you guys know, but multiple sclerosis is a progressive disease. There's no cure for it. It gets worse with time. So, you know, it's always good to keep yourself mobile, moving, to keep the muscles intact because over time you will end up losing functionalities and stuff. So, all right, enough of that bummer stuff. Now, my question is, how many horses fell in the pond that they decided they needed this sign? So at the end of the day, it seems to me that this was more productive than I ever thought it would be. Again, I came out today with the expectation that it's after 9, 30, 10 o'clock that I would only get some squirrels or something along that line. But I got two other items that really made me happy. One was that heron. I got to figure out what kind of heron it is. And then also I got myself a blue jay. I love blue jays. Uh, they're so beautiful looking. They're not as beautiful as the world blunt, the chestnut warbler, whatever that's called. But anyway, those are beautiful. But I think the blue jay is, is my second favorite bird. I think as far as prettiness goes here in New Jersey, there's cardinals are very pretty. The American robin, when they're not shafty looking, they're pretty too with the little orangey belly. And then again, like I said, there's plenty of migrants coming soon which will show off what beautiful birds really look like. Now, mind you, birds are animals. You know, you know what I mean? They're savages. They're, they're, they're hunting methods, their nesting methods, the way they kick other nests, uh, other birds' eggs out of some of the nests. This is not all of them, but this is some of them. But the bird hierarchy is just a savage world to live in compared to you know, it's like it's like corporate America, you know? It's like you just can't trust anybody. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for coming out with me today. Um, quick video, I think. Either way, have a great rest of your day, and thanks for stopping by. Till next time.